Balt Springs police made an amazing save. They grabbed the guy just as he decided to commit suicide and instead pulled him from the edge of an overpass. It was caught on dash cam video. Fox Force Melissa Cutler is in our Dallas newsroom. Melissa, you've seen it. We have it. Close call. You know, really, Steve, that's an understatement. There was an awful lot at stake. The life of a young man, the lives of the officer, and the lives of thousands of drivers below who would have been seriously hurt or killed had the man jumped off in a bridge and into traffic. But as this police dash cam shows, tragedy was averted as quick-thinking officers kept their cool. Police say the 911 call from a suicidal man came in to Balk Springs Dispatch about 6 Wednesday morning. 20-year-old Terrence Reed was on Quail Bridge over 635 and asked police to tell his grandmother goodbye. Other drivers called police too. Is there a young man sitting on the bridge? He is. We're going to get somebody out there. Officer Raymond Keener was the first to roll out. Just hoping we get there before he jumps. And he stopped and kind of uh, set himself up on the, the guardrail, you know, sitting down on top of the guardrail, which means to tell me that, you know, this was who I'm out here for, and he's actually contemplating, you know, taking his own life. Uh, he was extremely calm. Other officers soon arrived. You can feel the tension in the air. You can cut it with a knife. At first, Reed was inside the rail, smoking a cigarette. Then he climbs to the other side, teetering over the highway. When he swings his legs over, my, you know, you kind of feel your heart drop in your chest and everything. Like it's, it's starting to take a turn for the worse. I'm just trying to creep forward as much as I can. Police keep talking to him. I don't want you following. Reed tells police to let him finish his cigarette. Keener knows what will happen next. When he finishes that cigarette, he's going to do it. Reed suddenly looks away, and officers seize the opportunity. He finished his cigarette. I felt he was about to jump, and that's, I just, I knew that was my only moment to react. Officer Pierfoy goes for the grab just as Reed falls away. That's when I lunged for him. We had just a matter of seconds to react. In moments, they pull him over the railing to safety. I'm trying to hold on to the officers to make sure that they don't go. Reed and all the officers are safe and alive. It was such a relief. Were guardian angels out there? Yes, somebody was looking out after him you know, to have us there at the right time and moment to take care of and make sure he stayed safe. Reed was taken to Parkland Hospital for psychiatric evaluation. He suffered no other injuries, Steve. Melissa, well, I don't like this. this is, we've, we've seen these lately. I mean, uh, officers could be hurt. We know the, the guy could be hurt, but people below passing in the cars, it's just not a, it's, it's not a good thing. Yeah, it really isn't. You know, a lot of people have taken note that we have had four cases in the Dallas area last week of suicidal individuals trying to kill themselves in heavy traffic, and each time it seems to be involving busy overpasses. Now, in some cases, police have shut down traffic during rush hour. There's a number of risks, of course, to the individual. Two police having to be careful they don't get knocked over the edge or dragged over the edge. That's one of the reasons, uh, Steve, that police train so extensively just for these types of encounters to make sure that not only that individual is safe, but all the other countless individuals that could be involved as well. Right. Well, they did it right. All right, Melissa Cutler in the newsroom. Thank you.